Austin doesn't do it. He's like, that's domestic abuse and I won't do that to you. Sugar water. I would like some sugar water. <laughs> Please. Is that really how you feel about my drinks? Can I have some sugar water? I didn't Please. I didn't mix it that bad. No. There's alcohol in there. I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. We name our plants. And we're recording this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Makes it so so lame. Ah, who cares? Okay, let's go. I'm not wearing my glasses because I lost them again. <laughs> so I don't I can't see the screen. This is very typical for Miss Emma. Mm. So that sounds like slander. When we last left off, we uh had just escaped from GLaDOS with Wheatley. He is now going to guide us through He's gonna be a good boy. And with no ulterior motives, he's going to guide us through this uh, this aperture background area. Clearly, we can all see that. Oh, there I am. Just in case you forgot what this character looks like, uh, there she is. Her name is Chell. Unfortunately, her feet are covered in this game. Uh, show them little tootsies. Well did it close my portals? Oh, it did. Hi, Wheatley. Hello, Stephen Merchant. Um, hmm, okay. Okay, uh, don't move. I'm actually moving right now. Okay, all right. Hey! So I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. I think your movement is disabled when he's doing this. Oh, for God's sake. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man. That sounds like something my dad would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. He said... One way, I was a little kid. He said, don't touch that knob on the door or else the car will blow up. And I was scared the entire time I was ever in the car with him. Yeah. Or are these the... What is that? Uh, this is the defective turret um, destruction line. This is where they kill the defective turrets. Why are there so many defective ones if they're this oh, genius corporation? Because they're very cringe. Oh, I thought that was a little... Careful, careful. Here, cubby hole. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Thank you, Wheatley. Anyway, yeah, a lot of parents do that whole, like, don't turn the light on or I'll die bit. Okay, this looks dangerous. Uh, In the car. And, like, yeah, as someone who's been driving, um, no. What? Oh, nicely done. What? Nicely done. I think I'm dead. Nope. Yeah, that was not nicely done, Wheatley. Wheatley? Wheatley! Oh, nicely done. Right. Oh, that nice splat. Remember when I said I had this game memorized? Yeah. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. It's okay. You lie to me. It's okay. He didn't say nicely done that time. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Uh, okay, where's he going? I do have to get on that 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 line that goes oh, across. What is thing. that? I'm oh, no help. I can't see. This, all this is a very dim part of the game, yeah. Yeah, so right now, uh, just sort of following the back room. Gonna go find stuff. Ooh, we're on the hunt for some stuff. God, I love stuff. How far away do you think Cave Johnson is? Oh, uh, he is, uh, a solid episode and a half away, I would say. Oh! That's my guess. Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. What is that? The, worst job the tubes? The what are coming through the tubes? The, oh, the, uh, weighted um, companion cubes that, and no, other junk. Just, just attending to the humans. Sorry, it looks like just, butterflies. Oh. <laughs> so fucking boring. I promise I won't be asking what everything is okay, this whole episode. You're not the boss of me, Wheatley. It's just a helper. He's just a good guy. So, yeah, this is the uh, the turret section. Oh, hang on. I need to turret portal again, I think. Uh, did I? Oh, okay. No, I need to come over here. Wheatley. Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh. Were you lighting it? Oh, there. Oh, I 
I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And they're... We heard you the first time. We know you're a robot racist. Colorful. Folklore is very colorful. I mean, that's true. Right. Wait, he's a human racist? Yeah. Well, did you hear him about the smelly humans comment earlier? Well, to be fair. Yeah. I think a robot... Defend racism? Speciesism, if you think about it. Humans versus... Um, oh, I guess not. Sure, I'll defend it. <laughs> <laughs> Humans smell bad. Damn. That's so racist. I hope I don't keep cutting myself off in the middle of conversation to admire the game, because I'm, I'm probably going to keep doing that, but I really shouldn't. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Is one of them going to come out singing? Not singing. This game should have been a musical. Yeah. Oh, there is a uh, Portal 2 musical uh, online. What? Yeah, someone uh, made like a production and there's a stage recording available uh, on YouTube. I'm working my way through it right now. You're, you're actually watching that? What's it about? It's the game. It's just it's a musical. It's just the game? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, this little turret repeats shit from Cave Johnson. Don't make lemonade. Oh. Oh. You want? No, save him. You want? He's safe there. Because I can't take him through there. Oh. Okay. He only speaks, or she only speaks when I'm holding her. Oh, Prometheus! Wow. Wow, basic bitch. Well, I've never heard that metaphor before. All right, you chill there. Actually, you know what? You chill there because no, now you're not in the way and you're not going to fall down. Yeah, you know this part, right? Uh -uh. Uh, oh, I need to go boop and boop. Where did Wheatley go? Uh, he's meeting us over here. You missed me. Yeah, so... Uh, as said, we're doing this on Valentine's Day. Um, because my one true love is Portal 2. <laughs> Emma can never compare. No. No woman ever could. No. No, we're doing it because I'm writing a book right now, and it has, like, pretty strict deadlines, and I took a day off for Valentine's Day, so we're kind of just putting everything on here. We are also, you know, doing nice things as a couple. We're not just doing... No, we went to sushi today. We got a bunch of sushi. Yeah, it was really nice. It was so nice. If we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Okay, does that make sense to you, babe? Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to hack. The He's gonna hack the doors. You ready? Okay, do it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do that. Okay, I'm, I'm turned around. <laughs> Did you see him? He just Go broke just it. Yeah. Oh, Wheatley. Well, and you could just portal through, it. anyways. Yeah. Continuing from memory. Oh, it hasn't done it. All right, let's figure out how to stop this turret line. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, have you got an idea? I have an idea over okay, here, babe. You, you already know. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, you're grabbing another turret. Yes. Do you know what kind of turret? The bomb? Well, yeah, the defective one. This one right here. Why that one? I need a defective turret uh, to put onto the production line. So that this will be the model that all the other turrets are based off of, making them all defective and removing GLaDOS's ability to use turrets. Okay, I understand that. I just can't see anything. <laughs> That's fair. I really don't know what you do with your glasses. You normally should just leave them in the bathroom. I check theirs. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, Did I have them when I got up today? Go the door Sorry? Did I have them when I got up today? Uh, yeah, I think you definitely had them. Anyways, tell them what happened at sushi. 
yeah, so sushi, uh, we, uh, we went and, uh, uh, you know, lunch menu because we're not suckers who are going to spend like $5 extra per person on the dinner menu. He said it wasn't worth it. Yeah, she wasn't worth it. Um, uh, you'll notice too that she didn't pay for it because, uh, I'm the only one who loves people on Valentine's Day, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So let's go and take care um, of And then, yeah, like, half the op options were missing, even though we've been, like, to lunch many before. That's not before. what I'm talking about. What are you talking Green. about? I'm talking about how I learned that today uh, people don't like well. hearing about cannibalism when they eat. Oh, <laughs> yes. Emma was telling me about the Donner Party and uh, couldn't help but uh, tell me about uh, how great they were while I was trying to eat. Guys, I just found out about the Donner Party. Like, I heard about it, but... Oh, is that the Chell one? This is the Chell one. That's Chell's. There it is. Aw, oh, precious little Chell. Our character did this. Yeah, so... <laughs> I didn't know that people have sensitivities to stories, because I listen to True Crime when I fall asleep. I don't give a shit. And then I tell them about the Donner Party and how many people got, got fucking munched up. While I'm waiting... For my second round of raw even, meat. You didn't even have food in your mouth. Yeah, and I was wa awaiting raw meat. So? That, no. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this one. I think you're sensitive. I think you have human emotions. Yeah, I'm sorry that you don't. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry that you missed that update. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced that the Donner Party is just an example of how, like, fucking stupid and dramatic white people are. Yeah. Because, cause, like, this is when they were moving from east to west when the country, when, like, people had first come over. I knew we were going the right and way. Oregon Trail. Yeah, it's it was during the Oregon Trail. Bit bigger than I expected. But it's Maybe like, just, you know, indigenous people have been living there for so fucking long, and I seriously doubt any of them turned to cannibalism. There was two indigenous people in the story that literally said, nah, I'm good, I'm out. And this white guy went and shot them and ate them or something. Oh yeah, I don't know if you know this. It just uh, seems so dramatic. All of the turrets that uh, were working are now being killed. Oh, they're defective now. Yeah, they're considered defective. Okay, I need laser. And... Where are you pointing that laser? Into the eyes of an unsuspecting presenter. Now, uh, this part of the game actually breaks portal lore because portals aren't supposed to be able to stay on moving surfaces. Um, but it looks cool, so we don't care. Well, I was I was gonna throw a hissy fit. We don't care. We don't care. We, oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. Hey, check this out. Action set piece incoming. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, he's in there. Wee! Let's go, Wheatley. All right, guys. It's time to take down the final boss of the game. I believe you. Yes, you should absolutely believe me that this is the final boss of the game. Hi, Ruby. Take us right to her. Oh, I'm zooming. I'm zooming in and out. <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at Why is he so happy? Because he's having a, a little ride. He's been on a rail his whole life. Look at him go. We're heading straight to GLaDOS, though. Yeah, we're going to kill her because she doesn't have turrets or neurotoxin anymore. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turrets. She'll never know what hit her. Uh, Watch her just have a gun. <laughs> just a handgun. Yeah. No, Wheatley! My boy! I can't believe this. I've been, I can't. Oh, no, I've been abandoned by my one ally. This this is certainly quite a predicament. I don't know how we're getting out of this one alive. Oh, uh, just kill yourself. Might as well. Just do it. Yeah. This is advice for everyone. No. 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 This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I 
is this the beginning of the game again? Or is this deeper? This, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is um, taken from the end of Portal 1. Because this is the area that leads into GLaDOS's chamber normally. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, there's this little area over here. Ooh, what's over here? And then, then I come on down. Oh, well, I could shut down GLaDOS in here. Guys! Wow! Look at the game! Wow, look at that sign! So convenient! Oh! oh. oh. Honestly, the fact that it's made out of wood is extra insulting. Like, where'd she get that wood from? <laughs> Everything else in here is made out of concrete and ceramics. And drywall. You ready? There she is. She's so cool. I can't even really see her, and I I'm still in awe. Yeah, her aura is so strong. You don't need to see her. You see her better now. Yeah. Oh no. I'm so sad that the turrets are so excited for this job and they yeah. they blow up. <laughs> We've all been there. Just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. Oh. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Where the hell's Wheatley? Oh. I hate you so much. Warning. Central core is 80% corrupt. She didn't even say it in a clever way. Yeah. Well, that's not much she hates you. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer. Oh my god. This is this part? Yeah. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. So do it, do it, do it. So excited. But Wheatley, you can't get out if you're if you're hanging from the ceiling. It's okay, he'll own the facility. He won't need to get out. Why didn't she give herself fucking arms? I don't think she Oh yeah, she could have given herself arms after being built. Oh, I'm gonna go press the button. Yes, do do it. Don't press that not so fast. Oh, okay. I was gonna say she could have bitch slapped us. I guess she kind of did. Okay. Uh, I think. You fool. Did you did you press it? I pressed it. Oh. Yeah, she has it set up stupid so that it has to like move around in a circle and she can't just open parts up automatically. Are you, are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> exactly how painful are we to- ah! no. Oh no, they're grabbing your wife! No! No! No, baby, no! That's just the AOL startup sound. <laughs> Hello, Wheelie. Oh, hon, I'm going to move where your lighting's better. There you go. Oh, I can see him now. Yay! <laughs> he was silhouetted in shadow before. I just saw the blue dot. Yeah. Can I pick her up? Is that GLaDOS? That's GLaDOS's head, yeah. You could, you could kiss her. You could give her a little... Mm -hmm. you, could, you could just... She's right there. Oh, okay, that's how he's gonna get out. See, babe? What a great plan. Does he even want to get out now that he's in charge? Oh, he definitely wants to get out. Yeah, he no, he's not gonna go mad with power. No, who would do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that laugh, buddy? Uh, that funny? This is this is just harmless fun, right, Wheatley? Wheatley, right? the lift goes up. Wheatley, the lift goes up. Do you have any idea how good this? Yeah, I've done heroin. I'm <laughs> ballooned up my ass right now, Wheatley. <laughs> you didn't do anything. What? 
GLaDOS, leave me out of this. Oh, really? That's what the two of you no, 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 leave, leave me out of this. You Maybe fucking bitch, shut up. What are you doing? Stay petty till the end, GLaDOS. <laughs> and don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing. You're selfish? I haven't said a word this entire time. Yeah. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the what? Boss? He's saying that all we've done is boss him around, even though he's been the one telling us where to go. I thought we were just helping each other get out. I thought so too, but it's a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. Just slow me. Oh, that gives me chills. No, yeah. Listening, you're my dampening no, you're core. I make you stupider. You make me so stupid. <laughs> you were designed to be a moron. I am not a moron. Yes, you are. Hit a woman for calling you a moron. <laughs> you're the moron they built to make me an idiot is such a good fucking line. Is that what? Did he hit her? He threw her into your uh, lift. Oh, okay. So I just started swinging his arm. Take potato glados. Yeah, you. Yay! It's plot relevant that you can't grab her here. Bad game. Bad game. Should have accounted for me wanting to grab glados. I want to hold her to my bosom. I just want to hold her so close. That's a song. That's definitely a real song. Oh, here we go. The fall. Where are you? <laughs> I love potato GLaDOS even more. <laughs> so high in carbs. When he... They're care. talking about me. I want this on a shirt and it just points at me. <laughs> this is the dumbest moron who ever lived. Are you gonna catch her? Like, how does she... Oh, we can't catch her, no. She goes splat! She's a potato. She'll be fine. No! Did you know that squirrels... This is very unrelated. Did you know that squirrels can't die from falling? What? Their bodies are durable enough to survive an impact at maximum fall velocity. Like, you know, the maximum speed that things can fall on. What if you put a squirrel into a gun and pointed it at the ground? That would be different. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fall damage, if you really think about it. Oh, Gladys again picked that. Oh my god, I wonder if there's a Greek myth that applies to that. Yeah. Certainly not one that we would have heard about earlier. No. Alright, we got a couple of minutes left. I'm gonna I'm gonna find my way around here. I've certainly never been here before. Look how far down we are. I wonder where that light's coming from. Can you kill a cat by throwing it off a building? Probably. <laughs> Can you kill a squirrel from throwing it off a building? No. Not according to the internet. What if you threw a bird at the ground? Um, depending on how high up, they would just fly away. Okay, that's the way I came from. Hmm. All right, and is that is that portable? What if the squirrel fell into the ocean? Hmm. Then it would drown. That's different. No, it had a little scuba suit, but... Oh, <laughs> then it's fine. No, but it falls so hard that it smacks the water, and it gets winded. Then it's dead, yeah. Yeah. I always forget where the little uh, piece of portable surface is here. It's very tricky. I need to just find the right spot. That's what he said. Is that it? 
Okay, that was it. Okay. Uh, what area is... What is, what is this? This is underground. This is the original testing facility, which they have since uh, built up larger. I think I go over here? And that gives me a new vantage point. Where's the end goal? Where are you going? Uh, that way, I think. Maybe I did just want... Oh. Okay. Maybe I did just want to stay where my other portal was. And then... I'm going to jump it. Oh, you, you can't jump it. Come on, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Might as well jump. Jump! This part always took me in eight, uh, ages when I was a kid, because I just didn't know where that like little piece of wall you could shoot was. But now, now we're getting to the real... Now I'm a big boy! Now I'm a big boy. <laughs> I wonder if Cave is going to start talking to us before the end of this episode. Cave. I thought you said we were like an episode and a half or whatever. I really thought... Like, the GLaDOS fight would take longer. Oh. Oh, he's going to talk to us. Wait. Hi, Cave. Not yet. Cave Johnson, I love you. Uh -huh. It's the best roll JK Swimming. I'll never ever eat had. another lemon. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> For those who uh, haven't watched our couple's costume episode, um, Emma's a really big fan of Whiplash. I freaking love Whiplash. I want... This is... <laughs> People keep saying he's the villain. No, I want a Fletcher in my life. I want someone throwing a chair at my head. I mean it. Austin doesn't do it. He's like, that's domestic abuse and I won't do that to you. And she's like, man up, pussy. Yeah. I love Whiplash just because um, J.K. Simmons' skin looks too loose, but he also looks really, like, fit. Yeah. And he's like a bulldog. Ready it's for the greatest visual gag in the entire series? Yes. Okay, you see this massive hatch being lifted up? To, I'm to not wearing my glasses. Oh. Okay, so that massive door just came undone, letting us move on to the next part. Uh, this is oh. all blocking. <laughs> I can see the little door. All right. Uh, any ending thoughts about Whiplash before we uh, go to the next episode? Uh, Fletcher stole the folder. Yeah. Yeah. All right, gamers, we are going to end it here. We will see you in the next episode. And then we'll actually hear J.K. Simmons's angelic little voice coming to, straight to us. Um, we'll see if we can understand him over the flapping of his skin. But, yeah. Wow. All right, bye. It's quite ageist of you. Yep. <laughs> bye. Bye.